This is a painting by Peter Koch van Elst, a Flemish artist who created this in the 1530s. We're going to be focusing on the central panel of this triptych and we're going to be talking a little bit about symbols. These paintings are rife with symbols. There's a few reasons for that. Uh, one of the main ones is that these are supposed to be paintings that people can learn from and not all the people who would have been looking at these in the 1530s could necessarily read. So there's limited amount of text, very limited amount of text in this teaching device. What you're meant to read into this is all visual. So these are things that you could look at and understand symbolically. There are many symbols scattered throughout all of these panels, but specifically in the center one, we have a little ledge that's been painted at the bottom. And upon this ledge are an assortment of different objects. We have an open book, we have a knife, we have a variety of fruit, and all of these have very specific and different symbolisms. So each piece of fruit will symbolize something different. Uh, for example, we've got um, different citrus fruits that have been cut open, that affects their meaning. We have grapes that the angel is holding, which imply uh, the sacrifice, the blood that will come later from the baby that we see in the central panel. We have a knife as well, which you might think, oh, well, the fruit there is cut open. Of course, there will be a knife associated with that. But the symbolism of that also underlines the fact that the, this baby will have to sacrifice. So it's placed beneath the child. That association emphasizes that connection. And the open book generally will emphasize an idea of wisdom or knowledge. There is actually very tiny writing in Latin on this book which might be able to be translated. It's littered with a bunch of um, medieval Latin contractions, but it's so detailed that you can actually see on the one side of this page um, an imitation of a painting that would have been in a book. So they get very specific with these symbols. And a person looking at this in the 1530s, so a Catholic person looking at this, would uh, be able to look at this image and understand the different meanings for all of these different pieces of fruit and the knife in the book. It's a fantastic way of communicating to people who can't read. So looking at symbols in this painting is a very important way that these artists would communicate with the people looking at their work.